save guys. <coughs> Gale here. Yeah, you might be able to see. <laughs> oh, fuck me, I can't even speak. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I took some nice thumbnail shots. I changed my desktop. The photo mode in this game is crazy. Today, in this one, we're going to be showing you how to defend against, you know, crew attacks. How to defend your area after you've taken over a company. So, yeah, this is my grade 4. It's got 90 kilogram of down force. Top speed's pretty good on it. This is also my grade 4. Top speed is a bit less, but more downforce and a bit less weight. And then this is my grade 1 dog shit at 300 kilometer mile an hour that I started off with. Alright, you're going to want to exit your garage and head over to Tatsumi PA. You guys know the deal by now at this point. That's just how it is. So, when you get here, you'll notice it's G Cup. We're going to fucking take the these rat bastards down. So you want to race the people with the most rep because... That gives you the most rep. It allows you to progress faster. You guys have seen these calls, uh, these races a million times. You know exactly what's going on. You just want to absolutely smash through them. Uh, the AI, because it resets, the, the low rep races are still slow as fuck. So I literally just sit on the line here and wait for... I can't remember this kid's name. That's how forgetful he is. Boost off the line, early shift. Stay in his draft. And then by fourth gear, you know, you're on his ass. And that's it. You don't really see them after that. I will say the tracks in this game, uh, if you want some tips, try and follow the middle yellow line to play it safe. Let off the throttle around corners. That really helps because you don't seem to lose too much of your boost depending on the turbo you got, if you got the prototype. But yeah. You want to build up your reputation because then that allows you to challenge the first boss, which is SK. That's the sub boss that you fight earlier in the game. And then I think it's Star Tamer for G Cup, but don't quote me on that. I always get them confused. This is on the 0.94 build, I believe. And as you can see, the reputation slowly goes up. Sadly, the leaderboard isn't fixed yet, I don't think. So even if you do, you know, get the most rep, uh, you won't show up as the number one on the leaderboard, which is a shame. So again, you just want to repeat the process. This is the bread and butter. Drag races, they're the best, they're the best bet. Apparently, you don't want to go too high on your tie attempt. This is something I've just learned. You want to go like... 60 degrees because apparently too high can uh, uh, slow you down but I'm not entirely sure on that and uh, if you mess with the tire whips you can get some insane acceleration apparently there is a big new update coming that changes and fixes the cams and tire whips so I'm excited to see that so yeah Keep building that rep, keep building that multiplier, try and get it to three or as high as you can. So the gang strength slowly does get weaker with each loss until you can fight SK. And as you can see, we're getting there. We're getting there to be able to take over Tatsumi. So this kid wanted to run it back, I believe. And you know what happens to kids that want to run it back. They get gapped. That's all I'm going to say. Look at this dirty bastard trying to pit me into the wall. So, with this build, you're not going to overheat. You can just NOS all the way out. You're done. Race over. Rep higher. Money higher. Tatsumi PA rep higher. Yeah, it's pretty simple once you've got the basics down and you've got an okay build. I feel like I'm going to shill my own build guides a little bit here. But I feel like if you do feel... If you do follow the build guys it does help a lot because i have done a lot of testing i think i've dropped about 60 hours now into this game which is pretty crazy to be honest considering i mean i have been waiting since 2019 since i heard about this game and then supported it as soon as when the the, the demo dropped on the patreon 
So yeah, you just want to keep going. You need to get that SK race. I mean, finally, we got a, an opponent with at least a little bit of acceleration. But then you get to that fourth gear, and you're just kind of able to draft them and disappear. Especially if you get in front. The AI seems to go flat out, but you can make them do some weird mistakes. They seem to also to love to take corners very quickly. The goal is to boost past them because they do slow you down, but it can be hard, you know, with the AI traffic and the AI being aggressive as they are. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. They're easy to overtake. You can always find a slot on the wider bits of the track, especially in a sprint. There's always those little gaps, and you know what they say. You're no longer a racing driver if you go for a, uh, what is it? Go for a gap no longer exists. If you go for a gap, I can't even remember the quote, but yeah, it's a racing driver quote. Some nerdy shit for you. Finally, we get to fight SK. And I'm about to slap this man into another dimension. Let me tell you, this is about to be a 3-0 sweep. Tunnel Rats. So, they've made Tunnel Rats easier, I think, in 9.8. And then 9.85, they changed it, I think, again. I don't know for certain. This is 9.4. So, I'm waiting for 9 point something, the next update. But, yeah, uh, I don't know if this is a good time for this power. I don't really care. All I care about is absolutely slapping this man. You get that 300 kilometers and you are a gone guy. One out of three, easy. I think it's 206 I got there. Yeah, 20602. I've managed to be getting 202s, I think, my current build on uh, 9.85, but We'll see what I can do on the next update. And that's not with a drag build, uh, and that's only with 730 horsepower, I wanna say. Stock cams. It'll be interesting when Gem manages to fix the uh, cams, so they don't completely destroy your engine. But yeah, the top speed, look, you're just gone. With the downforce as well, like, you're able to just dodge cars instantly like that and not completely wipe out. And there you go. Race 3 out of 3. Done. Bye bye, SK. That is an easy boss race. Give me your money. Give me your rep. Nice. Ooh. Now, sadly, because uh, I may have fucked up and deleted the Star Tamer race, however, now that you have more rep, you are able to challenge Star Tamer and beat him. But yeah, here's the overheating part that I'm showing you about. You can boost four shots on Nitrous, and you only really start to overheat and then stop, and she's cold. Just like that. So yeah, when you beat SK, you get the invite to beat Star Tamer, I believe the next night, you have to wait a night beat Star Tamer, and that's when you take over the area. I fucked up and deleted the footage, not gonna lie, guys. So, now, you shall see, I joined Endless Appeal, uh, uh, Endless Appeal, and, uh, yeah, we gotta defend our own area. So, racers can call you and challenge you to races, but if you've got, like, high rep because you're the boss, you know, you sat over here, you got fucking 10k, you're a bing chiller. Just go up to highest rep races and drive. That's it. It's just the same loop currently. It would be amazing to be able to drive the 911 uh, NA and the 911 Turbo. They have the S15, the GTR R34, S... Uh, I wish S15... 200 and then 180 but the 180 and 200 are technically the same which aside from you know, uh, the weight that's the only difference the engine is the same but yeah you can see he gets off the line good you guys know the tactic by now it's all about that drafting he's trying to stay on that arse nos passed 
and that's it. Sorge you out. Drag races are the best way to make money. Honestly, by far. So when your pre rep is 10,000, your night rep won't, your multiplier anyway, your, for the night rep won't increase anymore. It's a little bit of a glitch in the moment. I don't know if Gem knows about it or not. We'll uh, have to see if it gets fixed. So if they want to run again, you guys know what to do. Always double up. Always double up. Because you, cause you've already beaten them once. You know you're going to slap them. And Nos way too early here. I should have waited to my power band, but... Two shots of Nos. I'm not gonna overheat with stock cams, and I'm yeah. It's an easy overtake. I probably didn't even need to Nos uh, the second Nos to be honest. And finally, we get a harder opponent. In my opinion, this is the best race, like the best, uh, the most chat. This and Seji. These two races are the most challenging to race. Anyway, the most fun. That doesn't make you don't make light work of them if you got a good tune. Look at this rat bastard. He really wanted that win, didn't he? That's fucked up. That is truly fucked up. But yeah, once you reach like 300, they can't really catch up. I don't know if Gem needs to change like the gear ratios or something along those lines. Okay, is this another double up? It's overheating, yeah, yeah, we've all heard that excuse. Okay, run this shit back. You know what happens to kids that run it back? They get gapped. So, let's see what happens. Or are you going to ram me into a truck this time? You never know what, who's this, Raiko? Raiko? No, it's Rai. You'd be like, ah, uh, Ri, Ri? I don't know fucking Japanese. Raiko. But yeah, nah. Just gapped instantly. Once you figure out how to build just the engine, you don't even really need to figure out the tire width and, st uh, and stuff yet. Uh, it does help. I've increased my top speed and stuff a lot uh, by messing about with tire widths. That's in the next video to come, especially with crew battles. Look at look at him. Yeah, it's like Reiko. Got a better way to fu- <laughs> He's fucking- He's not happy. Safe guys, anyway. That's D Gale out. Thanks for watching. Take care.